Man, black people, <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do something, man. How is it that we can take two minutes out of our day to get locked up for 20 years, but we can't take two years out of our life to figure out how to be rich for the next 20 years? But we sit here and we complain that white people in other cultures and other races have unity and they get rich in our neighborhoods but we live in our neighborhoods for so long and don't know how to knock on each other's doors and put five ten twenty thirty forty fifty dollars together to change our neighborhood but we always complaining we got more complaints than compliments and this shit is horrible it's sad that we literally sit back and we find any and every excuse on why we can't come together. You hear that word can't? We find any and every excuse on why it's gotta be something negative, but we ain't got not one excuse on why we should do something positive to change our future. We got kids out here who living in the same struggle that 80 year olds was living in. And we cool with that. What the hell is wrong with black people? And then we get told, <laughs> oh, black people we gotta get our shit together we on a winning team right now <clears throat> and y'all don't like winners we hate unity but we love seeing our professional athletes come together to win a super bowl or an nba championship but we hate unity but we love coming together to gamble on a game but we hate unity we love coming together to come up with a plan to shoot each other and rob each other and take from each other but we hate unity. We love needing for the job and going to apply for a corporation that's not black owned. But when we have black owned companies, we don't even know what a corporation means to learn how to cooperate with each other to get corporate money. But we hate unity. Then we turn around and say, we all want to be in business and be business owners, but we don't even know what business means. <clears throat> Y'all don't even understand corporation. You know, corporation and cooperation is the same thing. That's how corporations cooperate to make over 500 billion in revenue and income and have 200 billion in assets. You know, they cooperate with each other to learn how to get finances together to make sure the people constantly buy into their product. But see, we complain about white people having all the jobs and stuff but people we do we we'll sit here and complain that we ain't got our own shit and white people black people color this color that this that this that we complain about that on the regular <clears throat> but i guarantee when a black person has a business and he has applications for us to fill out how many of us are gonna say we don't trust a black man because what the last black person did with the last black person, even though the black person that's speaking on it ain't have nothing to do with the last black people having a situation. Our unity sucks. <clears throat> but as a black person, I can't say that to my fellow black people because black people are gonna get offended because y'all gonna say I'm supporting somebody else. We so fucked up in the head and so confused, it's sad. We don't know if we want to support Kamala just because she black and a woman, or we don't know if we want to support Trump just because he a white and he a businessman. So they got us in the middle of black versus white again, when it was usually just white on white crime in the presidential debate, a white man and a white man trying to figure it out for us black people and us white people and stuff like that. But like I said, we don't understand that shit. We do understand complaining, though. Y'all wouldn't even understand how important it means on why they even said our unity was a fear tactic. See, it was a fear tactic to them. We scared them. They didn't scare us. Now we scared of them. And they scared us. We got 20 houses on the street. And out of 20 houses, I guarantee you it's like three, at least one adult, two kids, two adults, one kid in that house, where at least $20 a month could come out for a whole year and we figure out how to put something together in our community. <clears throat> guarantee you nobody never thought about going to Walmart 
and we say we only go in there to grab a, a thing of juice. We walk out with a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Did anybody ever think about just grabbing an extra football, extra basketball, extra set of gloves, you know, extra pair of socks and just donate? Ain't nobody think about that though, because we got to think about self, right? So if we think about self, that means we ain't thinking about the next person because even if the next person looked like self, we ain't worried about them because it ain't us. Even though we look alike, smell alike, talk alike, walk alike, want the same things and all that. But since it ain't us and it ain't self, we ain't worried about it, right? That's the type of mind frame we in. <clears throat> we can function off a negative attitude, but we cannot buy food and function off a negative bank account. So why are we moving off negative attitudes? Why are we moving off negative anything? If we know we cannot go to the store and spend a card that has a negative thousand dollars, a negative hundred dollars, how are we gonna be spending our riches in the inside if our inside is always negative? Like how? <clears throat> like right now, where we in where the state of mind we in, <clears throat> we literally is in white man versus black woman. And if black man and black woman do not support black woman, then we don't support each other and we don't have unity. But if black man or black woman support a white man for conducting business or anything like that, <clears throat> then we're considered racist and turning on our own people. So then if we decide not to vote for neither, then we're considered the cause of the problem. So either way we're going, we're always going to complain about each other because we don't like each other. Black people truly is racist and we hate the fuck out of each other. <clears throat> we will sit there and say we have police brutality in our neighborhoods, which we do. I got beat up by five cops. I, I'm a pure witness and a victim to police brutality. But then we'll turn around and we'll walk up the street or go to a club or a bar or anything in our neighborhoods and it's black on black crime. Just because one black person had a shirt, pair of shoes, a hat, a cigar, a blunt, a damn something that the next person didn't have. So they had to take them out. There wasn't no random white dude with the white tee on, blue jeans and the, and the Air Forces that came through and shot us. It wasn't the white dude who was tatted up, fitted, had two chains on, you know, fresh as hell, looking like a black dude who came through and shot us. It was that nigga who lived next door to you who shot you. It was your homeboy you went to school with who shot you. It was your homeboy that you just got finished smoking with. He high, he too high, he shot you. But y'all not ready to hear that type shit. Y'all not ready to hear the fact that, you know, Black people really, uh, we lost in the sauce. The white man can literally hand us a baton right now and say, y'all the winners. And we will literally look at each other and try to beat each other down just for one baton. It will be 500,000 black people trying to fight over one baton. And you all will see literally 500 white people hand over the baton without a fight. This is how we is, right? Because we don't see no real change in us. How I'm 36 looking for a future. My son's 16 looking for a future. But then I got 60, 70, 80 year olds, sick 40 year olds that tell us it ain't gonna happen. So you shoot our future dreams down just by telling us it ain't gonna happen. I don't see change coming. Well, I do and my son do and my daughters do. And I'm pretty sure this next couple babies out, if I want to make some, they going to want to see a future. I'm pretty sure y'all got nieces and nephews, cousins, brothers, aunties. They want to see a future. But for some odd reason, we don't believe in seeing the future. We believe in seeing the past because the present tell us to stay in the past. Because when we do get our gift, we don't know how to make it to the future because we only want to keep our gift in that present moment. Your gift is a present moment for that present moment to constantly give back your gift so your blessing can always become abundant and better. Not for you to maintain it and you cannot take care of it. A blessing is literally there 
so you can always take care of it.